Hi, I'm Val Head, and this is a video series all about the principles of UX animation. Today we're going to be talking about the principle of spatial orientation, which is all about how we can use animation to show where something is in virtual space, even when we can't see it. It's kind of like how in the real world, when someone walks into another room, you know they're still there even though you can't see them through the walls. Using animation to show where UI elements are, even when they're off screen, can be especially useful these days when what we're building can be viewed on screens of any sizes, even some really small ones. One pattern where this principle can be especially useful is for things like off screen navigation which is exactly what I have right here. I want to have this menu appear on screen when I click this hamburger menu icon. I could just make it appear instantly, but that looks jarring and confusing, and you're kind of left wondering, like, what the heck just happened and where did that come from? So instead, we can animate this menu into view and take advantage of this principle of spatial orientation. So we move over to this version of the artboard here. We can take our hamburger menu icon and have it animate to the next screen. And now when we preview this prototype, we can have the menu slide into view and back out of view again. One thing I want to point out is that this animation is actually pretty simple. It's just a translation on the horizontal axis. When we're using animation for spatial orientation like this, it's often the most simple effects that are most effective. We don't need to get super fancy to communicate this mental model of where things are. The fact that we see this menu moving off screen when we dismiss it and into view when we open it means we don't have to use any extra brain power to wonder where the menu came from or where it went. By showing that visually instead of making us have to think about it, this animation is helping to reduce the cognitive load of understanding this interface and makes it easier to use. We can use this principle with other patterns that might move objects in and out of view like let's say modal. By having this modal come in from the bottom and then return to the bottom, we create this sense that modals live below the screen, waiting to slide up into view whenever they're needed. Objects don't always have to leave exactly how they arrived. By having a logical pattern and sticking to it, it will help you get the most benefit out of this principle. For example, in some cases it might make sense to, say, have a modal return to the bottom if it's dismissed, but leave going upwards at the top of the screen if action has been taken. That creates a slightly more complex pattern, but the animations would still work towards establishing spatial orientation. So that's the UX animation principle of spatial orientation. Now that you have it in mind, I hope you can find places to use it in your own work. And don't forget to check out the rest this series for even more tips on how animation can help you with your UX design efforts. See you next time!